What is going on everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's one we're going to be talking about these virtual season tickets and a bit about Project 2022. So we'll start this off by an announcement that came out earlier today and it was a statement from the SPFL talking about this virtual season ticket and saying that Sky had the rights to 48 games next season, clubs had the right to sell a package to their season ticket holders and they advertised it all by talking about coming to East Celtic, try and win their 10 in a row, no attempts to hide their bias. But this had all of us fans sitting wondering, like, what about the season ticket holders? What about people that hadn't? What about the My Jails points? What about Rangers TV? How do we get to see the games? It left us with a lot more questions than answers. And then the Rangers SLO at the time came out and said Rangers in the next coming few days will come out with an answer. Everyone was kind of unhappy about that at the time, but then fair play to Rangers and Stuart Robertson who quickly came out with an interview reassuring the fans and the season ticket holders that they would get their money's worth out of their season ticket. So I'm just going to go over some of the key points that Stuart Robertson said in his interview and throughout it he was very very thankful and very grateful towards the fans and definitely wanted to get that message out there that their money is allowed, our money is allowed the signings of Haji and then he did hint as well that more will be coming in the near future. So that is some speculation for a different day but regarding the games that were missed last season we were offered this £25 voucher which we did speak a little bit about and there is now emails being sent out to season ticket holders for how you can use that voucher but it went on to say as well, about the people who missed the games and weren't happy about it or missed their hospitality, the even people were playing a lot more money as well. If you were really, really financially struggling, Rangers are offering refunds for that, but they really, really want you to know that if you decide to let them keep your money from that, they're putting it towards great things for the team. That'll help Ibrox, help the team and ultimately get us back to winning titles. So it has officially been announced that every season ticket holder will be able to watch every home match on Rangers TV for free. Whether you have Sky packages or not, if you are a season ticket holder, you will be able to watch their matches. They will be given to you for free and that is the right decision because I've seen a lot of season ticket holders that are not happy about the idea of having to pay on top of your season ticket already. So that's the right decision from Rangers but they have not mentioned yet what the case is for people who aren't season ticket holders. So now let's go on to this Project 2022 and what is this all about? It is for the 150th anniversary of our beautiful club and it is also the 15th anniversary of the Rangers winning the Cup Winners' Cup. So Rangers are wanting to go all out and do something special for the fans. So within this project Rangers have of course had to get the building permissions granted which they have done which was another situation altogether from the previous little fan zone that we had and that kerfuffle with the council and Rangers not getting permission but Hey, we've got a permission now to be building the surroundings of Ibrox up. So I'm now going to list off some of the things that Rangers are planning on building around Ibrox to make the match days a much better experience for the fans. I'll put some pictures on screen as well. But the first one here is the shop. We're going to be making, not where the current mega store is, we'll go on to that in a second, a different two-story shop for just Rangers retail, Rangers merchandise. I presume obviously that'll be a big helping hand with Castor, who will be investing money into that as well. And then you've got the lower half of that going to be a Rangers Museum and then you've also got of course the Rangers merchandise that will be sold in there. This is also going to be a new fan zone where it's indoors, you don't need to worry about the weather. There's going to be as well venues within this. We've, here, you've seen on screen just some pictures, obviously it will be a lot more detailed than this but you're talking about 1500 capacity seatings in there for weddings, for venues. So it looks like Rangers will be renting that out as well for whether it's gigs, whether it's whatever it is all to be making our club money. So Rangers as well are going to be selling half of this Albion car park and that money is going to be going into building up the Edmondson house again for all for part of this project 2022. But that is something that Rangers will also be looking into because that is taking current match day parking away. It is something that the club are looking into. They've apparently already in advance talks of getting more places for you, the supporters, everyone else to park around the match days because you all know already if you drive in how chaotic it is trying to find a parking space. The Rangers website is another thing that's not been great over the years. Sometimes you're going on your queuing for an hour, it's freezing, you need to log in, log out for all these different things. But Rangers are working on a new improved website, not improving the current one, literally making a full new website, which is meant to be launching in early July. But within that as well, you should only need to log in once and you can go through everything, your tickets, your my gears, everything on the site you should be able to do just from your one. Something as well that will be a breath of fresh air is being able to buy merch off of the Rangers website, which apparently you will be able to do from early August now. So that's great and it looks as if that's when the kits are going to be launched, August. 
Now the Argyle Suite and Bar 72 are also both being upgraded, renovated, all for the benefit of the fans. The Bar 72 has now been renamed to Club 72 when it's getting reopened and the Argyle Suite has been changed to the Blue Sky Lounge. Speaking of bars, where the current mega store is, there's talks of that being turned into a sports bar slash little leisure centre. They've only briefly been talking about the plans for that, but that is the plans that's not going to stay the way that is. Now Rangers are on an absolute roll with this statement and all the things that they're saying sound brilliant and amazing, but two more of the things as well is Wi-Fi within the stadium, and I think you can all agree, especially when it's in 50,000 days, which is, well, when is it not 50,000 days, but how hard that is to get a signal on your phone, you're crawling about half time and try and text someone or whatever it is. For me personally I can't get any signal at all when I'm in Ibrox but they're looking to get Wi-Fi for next season onwards throughout everywhere in the stadium so you can go in, connect to the Wi-Fi and you can talk freely to whoever you want. Not that of course you're not going to be interested in watching the game but just if you need to send a text to someone or an emergency call the option's there for you. An external clean which is already underway from some of the pictures that you may have already seen on iBooks. Just going around the outside of the stadium, cleaning up some of the bricks, some of the windows, just making it look as good as it can be. But ah, oh, let me tell you, is it funny? I can literally see the comments already. Before I've even posted the video going, Oh my god, the Rangers are skint! How are you getting this money? Oh, it's absolutely glorious. But anyway, I'd like to know the actual Rangers fans' thoughts down in the comments below. How excited are you for this project 2022? And what part of the renovations are exciting you the most? Now, our second leg against Bayer Leverkusen was also something that got brought up. There's a meeting with UEFA very, very soon, which we'll discuss when we're doing this second leg. And then on the result of that, then there'll be a discussion on what's going to happen with the qualifiers. Because it is usually coming up pretty soon when we're starting the qualifiers, but of course, we're not even finished the last season yet, so that's all up in there, and that's what we find out, but that's UEFA's decision. Now, it's been really impressive, all this creativity and all the planning that's went into this project 2022, and my hope is the exact same creativity and planning is going into the actual playing squad as well, because very clearly, something wasn't clicking, especially in that second half of last season, and it does need improved just for, to put us to that next level again, to give us that consistency that we need, so... Without the, within these last couple of months, hopefully, the exact same amount of plan is went into this team, which, of course, you think it will have, and we'll have the answers for next season. And, of course, it is great to be talking about a club in a positive manner again, talking about all this positive stuff outside of the pitch, but, again, the most important thing is on that pitch, and hopefully we can turn that around. So, there's a lot of transfer rumours going around right now, and that will be a video that I do, again, on a different day, discussing what ones I think we might need, what ones I think are realistic transfer signings, but... Stay tuned for that in our video, so subscribe to make sure you don't miss. So that is going to be all for today's video, guys. I just wanted to get my thoughts, my initial reaction to this Project 2022 out there, just with some of the official pictures that have been released about it now. But once again, guys, thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video if you haven't already. It helps out massively. And thank you once again for helping me smash the channel, our channel, over 4,000 subscribers. Stay safe, everyone. We'll catch you in the next one.